We've got early access to horses. Now, this is not a paid promotion or a paid sponsorship. We just get to explore the pack early. It is coming out very soon. And I cannot wait to see everything that comes with the new horse ranch expansion pack. So let's start off with exploring Cass. So first and foremost, let's check out what we have got for our Sims. So let's make this random Sim. She's gonna be called Brooklyn Spencer. And firstly, we have got a new aspiration, which is championship rider. This sim wants to be one of the world's premier horse riders and will prove it by participating in horse competitions. And that is under the athletic section. And then under the food section, we've got expert nectar maker. This sim wants to master the art of nectar making, honing their abilities to consistently craft only the best nectars. They also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons doing it. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with championship rider. And not only do we have a couple of new aspirations, but we've also got got two new traits. The first one being rancher. These sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work. They enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock. And we've also got horse lover. So similar to the cats and dogs pack where you can have cat lover, dog lover. These sims share a strong bond with horses, have an easier time socializing with and caring for horses than other sims. So we're going to go ahead and use both of those packs. And I think let's also make this sim an active sim to be, you know, riding on the horses and whatnot. I remember riding a horse once and it takes a lot out of you. So let's have a little look at the new cast items. So firstly, we have got some hair options here. This is one of the hairs. That's really cool. I think we saw this in the trailer for the new pack. I love the little ribbon at the back there as well. We've got this hair. Obviously, I don't use clay hair. <laughs> I don't use the hair that comes in the game when I play. I am a bit of an alpha girl, but it's still cool to see new hair options and how much it's advanced since like the early base game hairs and kind of how bad they were, but how good they are now. So there's this option as well. I'm gonna be having my Sims in plaits all the time. This is a new hair option as well as this one. Got another plait. That is a very cute plait, I must say. And then this short hair, which is really nice. I love the like features on that. I love how it's kind of quite ruffled. I think we're gonna go for a nice plait for this Sim. We've also got some new hat options, obviously the classic cowboy hat in multiple different swatches. I think we're going to make her a pink Barbie girl. So let's go for the pink option and we'll leave that ready for us there. We've got multiple different types of hats for every kind of sim that you could possibly want. Another cowboy style of hat. I also love how the sims team have done clean options but then we've also got the variety of different versions of those hats that are a little bit more dusty, a little bit more muddy, a little bit more used so it looks as though you know that that does not look like they've been working on a ranch for however long in their life. Whereas this does, it looks a lot more used, a bit more rugged. And I really like that. I like that they've added that sort of idea in. We've also got riding helmets with multiple different color options, safety first, and some new caps here as well. Look at all of these, these are cool. And then this cap here as well, also with some of the more dirtier options of swatches. We're gonna go for pink cowboy hat like I said and we've got some new earrings as well here that's cool look at that the horse hoofy thing look at them they're lovely and then we've got this one as well and then clothing options is ridiculous like look at all of these options so let's go through we've got like a denim jacket kind of dealio love that that's oh that swatch is gorgeous this is amazing these are some gorgeous little swatches here as well oh I love the rose beautiful oh look at the fluffiness on that the sims team have really outdone themselves especially with recent packs these are just amazing look at all of these oh I love this little cardigan number here also and I love the mismatch of the colors and the different options a little bit of tartan here as well super duper cool Ooh, this is pretty love this one Ooh, look at this coat sorry that you're gonna be hearing a lot of like cutes and oohs and like lots of different noises from me throughout this whole experience got another denim oh look at Sorry, I just said it. Look at this. So you've got, like I said before, the clean options. But if you want to make your sim look like they are working hard on that farm and that you can really tell, then you can do the dirtier options as well. Got a jacket there too. 
blue with so many colours. This is amazing. This beautiful little top, that's nice. Oh, I have the little horses on it. Gorgeous. This is really cute. Oh, I love this. Loads of different colours. Like, I just love the alternate colours and the different colours between the jumper and then the undershirt as well. <gasps> little denim number here. Short sleeve or no sleeves even. Look how cute that is. And then another, like, denim jacket kind of dealio. Oh, I love this. What I'm seeing so far, I am adoring. It's looking amazing. And we've got a little tartan like overshirt here as well. And a dirty version of it too. A few dirty swatches. Oh, this is a sweet little top. Isn't that pretty? Oh, the little flowers on it as well. Perfect for cottage living too, actually, you know. And then this top here as well. Ooh, that's a pretty design up there at the top. And then this little t-shirt here too. Lovely. Okay, let's have a little look at some of the trouser options or the bottoms that come with this. Okay, so we've got some like ripped used sort of jeans. I say ripped used jeans, but ripped jeans, you know, <laughs> are a thing. So they might not be used, but there we go. Ripped jeans, a little skirt option here as well. I'm loving the pink options too, the colour swatches. That's a cute different skirt. Vibey. Oh, wow. Look at these. Wait, I'm just going to take her top off so we can see the full detail here. So the, these are like the belts that come with these ones so far. Look at these trousers. Oh my word, that is spectacular. Love that. These kind of flared jeans here as well. That is a, a, a very different belt. Oh, wow. Look at these. Trendy. Some shorts as well there. Cute. Look at that. Like the little bandana as a belt there instead of an actual belt. And then another little skirt option. And another skirt. Oh, that is a unique <laughs> kind of cow print there. I think we've got to go for this kind of vibe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. We've got some full length outfits. <gasps> Love that oh would you ever look at that and it's like dirty at the bottom too for some of the swatches beautiful look at this oh wow this is so exciting oh, it is going out a little bit there i don't know why because she doesn't go out other than like her hip area i'm not sure why that's kind of glitching out that's a little bit strange oh this is a whole vibe oh this is a whole hot heckin' vibe beautiful swatches a little dress again that's kind of going outwards which i don't know is that just the design of the dress or what oh a nice little summer sort of dress here that purple swatch was gorgeous look at that and then wow i love the like neck um ribbon there it's beautiful so so gorgeous I think we've got to go all out here and let's do definitely, yeah, this. All pink. Oh, wait, boots. Well, there's got to be riding boots. Okay, amazing. We have got some riding boots here and they've also got some dirty swatches. Let's have a little look here. So compare that one to that one. And yeah, they've got mud on them. Could be mud, could be horse manure. You never know. But then we've got an, a shorter little boot option there too. I love how it's kind of matching with some of those trouser options. Some more boots here as well with some cool designs and different little prints on them. And then some long boots there too. Look at those. Oh, I like those pink ones. Let's do the pink option of them and let's put our trousers back on. We also have a glove option as well. So we can put them on. I think I'm going to do some black gloves. And there's also a little necklace option there as well. And then some wild rags, I believe they're called. Bandana looking things that you can have around your neck in their different variations. So one has like a little tied up one and one is just like the bandana wrapped around. There we go. Okay, don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to put that pink one on as well. Oh, you can see it. Okay, amazing. We are proper geared out here. What I am going to do is create a male sim as well. So we can have a little look at what has come with the men. Let's create her partner. He is going to be called, I don't like any of these names, Terry Spencer. There you go. And why don't we get give him the other aspiration. We'll give him the, the rancher and a horse lover and then just another random trait. Okay, I believe there are some new eyebrows here as well. So like I say, I don't use... <laughs> 
Um, a lot of the things that come in the game, I tend to use my own custom content, but there are some new eyebrow options. I also wanna say that there are, I'm gonna just change his eyebrows because that's a little bit furry. I also believe there are some new base game hairs, such as this one, as well as this one, and then this one too, which I believe are part of the Native American collab that The Sims are doing. And I also think that there are some new food options, some Native American food options that are coming in base game, I wanna say as well, or possibly might be with the pack. And the horse ranch new hairs are these ones, similar to the female option with that one. And then this one, we've got this one, that's a cool one. This one as well, oh, I love that. I love the way it's kind of ruffled also and doesn't just isn't just all slicked back. But then that's, that's kind of cool, kind of John Travolta vibes. And then this hair as well. We've got a few new stashes and beard options as well, such as this one, this one, and this one that's really cool you can proper get into your cowboy stashes and whatnot and the men have the same hats as the women options same accessories there as well that we've explored and then these are their top options so we've got this one which is cool like undershirt there as well and then a jacket option okay this mustache is kind of um yeah not 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 a massive fan of moustaches so i'm just gonna just gonna do that why don't we add like a nice bearded option let's add this Ooh. beard yeah perfect thank you so this jacket as well and then we've got this one. Ooh, like is that gloves in the in the little pocket there and we've got used options too, dirty ones. This jacket also, and then this top. A little fluffy jacket there as well. That looks very soft. This top with a few swatches, and then this one. Again, with the dirty options and clean ones. God, we've got loads for men. Jeez, this is a surprise. <laughs> this one too. Some denim numbers. Oh God, the men are thriving in this pack. Some more denim options here. Ooh. Oh, look at these they are nice oh i love the dirty ones just adds a bit more realism into it you know look at all of these uh, oh my lord it jeez we are the men are spoiled goodness gracious this is something we're not used to in the sims the men getting all of these options love that for them this one as well i love that little bangle thing in the middle there kind of a necklace vibe but it's attached to the top rolled up sleeves on this one very nice Got another rolled up sleeve number or a short sleeved one, I guess. No sleeve option as well. Ooh, little Native American Western sort of vibe there in these clothes. And this one as well. We've got a couple of full body outfits. Look at the dirt at the bottom. It is so satisfying to see that because a lot, ooh, this one's cool. A lot of like Sims, well, pretty much every Sim clothing is kind of really well put together and it just looks brand new whereas this really looks like you can tell that they've been using it so it'll be cool to like switch it out maybe if they've you know if you want to start off like all fresh and clean and then suddenly yeah they've <laughs> well there's the same swatch isn't there so the same swatch but, but dirtier like that one there we go same swatch but dirtier so you can chop and change to your heart's desire oh i'm guessing this is sort of gear for a competition very nice little get up there and then we have got oh, some oh. trouser options as well very nice these ones are oh that's cool look at the little string at the bottom well not at the bottom in that crotch area <laughs> and then another jean option and similar kind of boots to the females there as well okay cool and then of course the gloves do we have any more likes we do so he likes horse riding and he likes mm. nectar making mm. and i think i'm gonna do ah. likes horse riding as well for brooklyn now no, terry no. and brooklyn are gonna have a child so we can have a little look at the options for the kiddos so let's give them a son congratulations your son um nigel nigel has been born nigel is going to be an independent child so let's see they have got no new hairs no new hats no new accessories but we do have a cute little top that is very adorable oh look at that with the little horses and cows and hoofs and whatnot on it so precious they've also got a little trouser option there as well oh that is cute do they have boots yes okay can't really see them with that let me just take that off they do have little booties too 
God, it's so precious. Okay, let's have a look at what the children get as well, because I think we're going to make ooh, Nigel ooh. a child. Oh, okay. So the children have some new hair options here, similar to the adult one, but just size down for the kiddos. Let's go with that one for little Nigel. And then they have got a cowboy hat and they've also got a riding helmet too, because kiddos can ride on the horses, which is super duper sweet. And then they've got a similar kind of vibe with a top and trousers and then some little boots as well. Now, Nigel is going to have the horse lover aspiration and let's give you, I'll give you motor skill. But what we are all here for is the horses. So let's go and add a horse into the mix here because this is amazing. The fact that the horses are going to be part of the households as well gives them even more things to do. I'm so excited to see how we can kind of control them, what we can do with them. So their last name is going to be Spencer and their first name, let's pretend, hmm, Ooh, Pegasus is like classic, but isn't that a white horse? I mean, we could make them white. Okay, we'll stick with Pegasus. First and foremost, a mare or a stallion? I think we'll do a mare. Pegasus can be a little... <laughs> Oh my word, how precious is she? She's so cute. And then you can change the pitch of their maze to be, oh, I want it to be quite high pitch. Actually, that could get annoying. We'll do it there. So then, yeah, or they can be an adult horse or an elder horse. Oh, okay, we'll do an adult horse. Their traits are aggressive. They act meaner towards other sims and more difficult to train. Brave, they tend to be stout. Up phased by bad weather or danger and have a higher chance of succeeding when using horse jumps and barrels. Defiant, they tend to be more, I can't see because my name, ornery when it comes to training and will develop skills more slowly, have a higher likelihood of failing horse jumps and barrels. Energetic, they're full of energy and gain athletic skills faster, but are slower to gain temperament. Fearful, they're scared of everything and will often become spooked due to their fearful nature. It will take them longer to gain temperament. Free spirit, they thrive in the open outdoors and will become sad if left inside for too long. Friendly, love all things social and more likely to have positive social interactions. Independent, they're content on their own and don't need as much attention. Intelligent, they're all round rapid learners, giving them an increased gain of all skills and they're brilliant conversationalists. Mellow, they prefer relaxing over everything else because of their laid back nature. They are quick to gain the temperance temperament skill but slow to gain athletic and needy they need social interaction often they will frequently approach sims in the hopes of getting their attention i want a needy horse oh okay so we can't then do independent i also want it to be friendly and i think let's do intelligent as well now with the horses, we have got all kinds of breeds that we can do for the horse. I believe relating to like real breeds, but also like made up breeds as well. Look how beautiful they are, Ola. I can't believe the designs and they are so, so impressive. Absolutely amazing. Oh, that one looks like it's wearing fluffy socks. How cute. Now, I my horse knowledge isn't like the best, but Pegasus was a mythological creature was also a stallion but i want it to be a mare and they were white so this is an andalusian horse so i think i am just going to go with this one and you can completely change their body type as well you can also do it through the pulley uppy things what are they called <laughs> the sliders so if you want them to be more muscular if you want them to be you know more stocky then you can do that as well you can chop and change their hair as well with all different kinds of things so you can do their mane like this look how cute they are oh i love that one the long one or they can have no mane at all the forelock here which is <laughs> like a little fringe how cute is that oh my god you can have a top knot oh what a poor baby okay let's do like a sweepy side one their tail you can change as well i love this little curly one so i want to keep it like that their feathers down here like little sockies i'm gonna do those their coat thickness as well Ooh. okay let's make them have a bit of a thicker coat and then you can chop and change the pattern of their coat as well i think i'm gonna leave it how we've done it you can also go into paint mode and like and you can turn the horse upside down look at this little interaction it will go upside down so if you want to get underneath with your painting or whatever you can do that you can change like the brush size rotation you can even add stamps to the horse so you know if you want to do different things and experiment with your horses then you are able to do that they are very, very customizable. You know, if you want to add little stamps 
to its face like so <laughs> little kiss marks and then you're able to do that as well obviously i am not a pro in cast like in terms of like detail mode so i'm sure a lot more people will come up with very interesting creations with their horses you can obviously change the horse's head shape here as well i don't know what my horse just had i think i've lost the one that i kind of liked let's go for this and you can chop and change it yourself as well you can change their little ears to oh look at them little curly wellies their muzzle you can change you can really go into a full level of detail here their eyes of course as well and if you want to create a unicorn <laughs> you can have a unicorn i believe what this does is you have a bit of a sparkle like this is a constant sparkle in the actual sim world when you're playing with this horse and i believe when you brush the horse as well glitter will come off of it so essentially your horse can cosplay as a unicorn with their horn and then we've got different outfits that we can do on the horse as well so riding outfit and every day we've got a little saddle pad up here with lots of different swatches and then like a western designed blanket over the horse here as well with many different swatches if you want to make them a very sophisticated baby you can add a little hat onto them or if you want to make them a flower crown princess you can also do that oh i think she likes that let's do that on her pretty girl and then you can also add some ribbons and some little things to their tail as well that's super cute i think we're gonna leave that and if you want to give them some little leg warmers keep those little tootsies nice and warm we have got all sorts of different options here as well some saddles there as well we've got some saddles as well with the amazing textures look at the level of detail on this the textures are honestly so impressive it blows my mind three options of saddles here to choose from as well and this one is the final one here i think let's go for this one and then you've got your bridles here as well two options of the bridles let's go for that one. Oh my goodness pegasus is a gorgeous girl now i know we've all been waiting to see this so let's go ahead and have a look at the world okay so the world is chestnut ridge we just need to choose a place to live so i think we will go with canter cottage for now but before we have a look at this cottage let's explore the world so now this is chestnut ridge and it is made up of 13 lots in three different neighborhoods this community formed when several groups embraced their mutual connection to horses and the land the area soon became known as a hub for all things equestrian a town steeped in expertise with raising and training in horses set against a beautiful and expansive landscape. Over time, the area became famous for another endeavor as the rich soil brought in the new enterprise of nectar making. Thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, the region flourished and became the chestnut ridge that it is today. So up here is Galloping Gulch, lauded as one of the go-to regions for horse riding. The gulch is chock full of gorgeous trails and stunning outlooks. Explore the wonders as you honor the noble horses that have passed on at Steed's Rest. Explore the perilous dread house <laughs> perilous dread horse caverns or enjoy time under stars at saddle summit campgrounds that was a tongue twister so we've got a rental lot up here we've got a residential lot and then another residential lot here is the main town downtown kind of vibes in new appaloosa and the historic new appaloosa serves as a hub for horse riders ranchers and nectar makers whether competing at the haynell equestrian center enjoying a night out at the dance hall or savoring nectar with good friends this old watering hole has something for everyone so here we have got a bar we've got a residential lot a nightclub duke's hall park and then another residential and then that is the equestrian center there but we will be exploring that in just a second and then this is the neighborhood that we're staying in which is riders glen watched over by the trusty steed rock known as old biscuit to the locals riders glen has been home to generations of ranchers and nectar makers with open space for ranch animals ideal no ideal conditions for nectar making and kind neighbors to boot riders glen is a welcome community for all walks of life now, before I show you anything, what I am going to show you is this. You can now go into like free camera mode, first person camera mode in build mode. So you no longer have to be in live mode anymore to do that. 
which is amazing for builders. So, so happy that it's finally here. I know there were mods for it, but now you can do it in game. And another free base game update, which I'm just gonna show you by going into the lot, is that ceilings can now be painted. And the way to do that is you wanna go into floor and ceiling patterns, and we've got some new options here. So floors by tile, floors by room, ceilings by tile and ceilings by room. So if we click on ceilings by tile, select a tile and by holding shift, you can cover it or you can do per room. So if you wanted a certain tile in one room and then a different tile in that one, you can chop and change to your heart's desire. And, so, and a lot of the different floors and whatnot can be made to be ceiling tiles as well, which is great. And then looking at this lot as well, you kind of get a little quick overview of the build by catalog, but let's have a little quick rundown of what comes with this pack. So we've got some new trees, a dead mesquite tree, as well as a wild ebony tree and a wild mesquite tree. We have got some tall dry grass, some mortal grass, a nature's relief bush and a horseshoe topiary. I don't know how you say that. We've got some wild flowers, some new rock options as well, which you love to see. There is a new rancher's water feature, some beautiful new spandrels, look at them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Some four new Heckin' columns, baby. Look at those columns. I love the wood. And then four new fence options as well in many different wooden swatches. <gasps> look at that pink one. Oh, wait, it doesn't look pink. Is it because of the lighting? Yeah, it's because of the lighting. And then we've got some different fence options and it's telling me must be placed on a shorter fence. So the different ones that obviously go with the different fences. New stair rails here as well with some new stairs. Nice. We have got some different windows. Look at these. Oh, wow. Look at that big one. Oh, I love these. These are stunning loads of different window options we have got shutters here as well to put around windows that they just attach perfectly like so a rustic awning oh, look at that door can we just appreciate that ranch door for a whole hot second and look, look at all of these swatches as well you've got lots of different matching swatches for all the windows and doors we've got a crossbuck double door that's a cool door look at that Oh, this is so satisfying. We've got a crossback four door entrance. Jeez, that is a big door. Beautiful, perfect barn door there. I'm just gonna remove these so I can look at the other ones. We've got an ironwork sliding single door with the different swatches for that. A rustic archway and a cross block, cross back sliding door. These are some tongue twisters here. And then similar kind of vibe with the double barn doors in the medium height. And I believe these ones um, on medium doors, the horses can actually go through them and into your house. So they cannot go through small doors, short height walls. And they also cannot go up the stairs either. So if you want your horses coming into your house, <laughs> make sure there's no stairs to go in. Then we've got some roof sculpture chimney kind of vibes here with the turrets as well very cool and then some new wallpaper options as well god these are so so nice there's loads of them what have we got in terms of flooring so we've got an overcast over your head now i believe one of these and let me just show you something here this one goes up as a ceiling tile and if you look at it in the night as well from down here you can see the different constellations which is just so pretty and would be perfect for like a bedroom, maybe even a child's bedroom. It would just be beautiful. And then these are some of the other floor options here as well. You've got a new foundation there as well, sturdy ranch foundation, new kitchen counters and cabinets, which comes in all sorts of swatches. You've got a new sink option there too. I love that with like the towels down at the bottom there too. That's really nice. We have some new clutter bits, like a storage box, kitchen clutter that we can see in the corner there. Oh, that's amazing with the utensils. A utensil basket this is really cool this is like a nectar storage unit here so you can put nectar when you make it into it and you can leave it there to age 
and it will sell for more if you leave it. The longer you leave it, the more it will sell for. Beautiful curtains. Oh my word, so many new lights. Electric wall lantern, a pendant lamp. We've got a new shower that is in this bathroom currently. A new boot and scoot and toot and reflections mirror over there. And a new bathtub. Wow, that is pretty cool. Look at that. We've got a hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Soft rug in like different, oh, that's really cool. So you can like change the swatch of it. That's awesome. Kind of like the puddles. An inside animals rug. Oh wait, that's gorgeous. Perfect for like a little nursery or a child's room, right? Then we've got this gorgy rug. Oh, I love this. Beautiful designs. And this rug as well. No cult feet rug. <laughs> oh, these are cool. The little Western vibes and then the little animal vibes too. How cute. We have a few new beds. We have many new beds, actually. Not even just a few. Many new bed vibes. Love. Ooh, we finally have some like narrow wardrobes as well to fit small spaces. And then some ranch dude hanging clothes and ranch dude hanging clothes. Okay. We've got a little end table and then a pine end table. Nice little bedside table vibes. Gorgeous TV stand. The wood textures in this are fab. Look at that. You've got a bench and then a little love seat dealio and a new sofa. That is so cool. Oh my word. So many different options. We've got a coffee table. Ooh, a little parlor chair, a rocking chair, a stool, and then an armchair to match the sofa. The options are endless. Wow. Look at this fireplace. Jeez Louise, what a gorgeous iron fireplace. So like traditional. And then you've got a sturdy ranch fireplace with the stone. Oh, so, so nice. This is so cool. I'm so excited for this. Then you've got beautiful archways. Oh my God, I hope you can get married under that. Can you imagine like a barn wedding getting married under that arch? And then another arches, loads of arch options. A barrel stack here, horsing around trailer. And then you've got all these different wall options, which I believe you are able to attach. So you can kind of change this arch to be any design that you want. So if you want to make it about chickens, if you want to make it to do with this star, you can kind of like customize the arch, which is amazing. Cow plants. <laughs> you can sort of do whatever you want with it. And think I think you can, yeah, add this like tapestry to it as well. So you can sort of just pick and choose. So if you want to change up the arch, make it a little bit different depending on say what event you're doing or hosting or anything, then you can. Gorgeous dining tables. I love the fact that they've included like a long one, which is rectangular, but then also a circular one. So we've got multiple different options. And then two different chair options as well. I saw this kind of cow design one in the trailer as well. Ooh. Ooh, some, a couple of new desks, a Cormac pine desk and then a handcrafted antique desk. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of Toy Story. You know that barn in Toy Story? Old Al, is that his name? Old Al's barn? But I love that the kiddos can play with that as a dollhouse. That is that is a good idea from the Sims team, I must say. Then we have got prairie grass. Now, there is a little bit of a story around prairie grass, which I will tell you in a minute. We've got some root and toot and nectar making, a ranch community board, a rustic fire pit, which I love that. Just very stony vibes. Public toilet, some beautiful timber log bench there. And then a section for the animals, which all the horsey bits are in. So they've got their big ball. Horse barrels there, which you can see. Horse jumps and then certified horse jumps. Maybe that's a high skill. More horse barrels, an animal feeder, which, oh yeah, we do have. A water trough, prairie grass and their beds, which are in there. And then we've got a new firebox grill. So like a new barbecue. And this is apparently modeled off ones that cowboys like used. Um, I believe we've got a new stool. These are some things that I missed, an ottoman a shelf, a clothing rack, so for those clothes that we saw earlier, a little hutch, a 
bath cabinet. Oh, I love that. A curio cabinet, a little mudroom cubby, <gasps> tool racks, more shelves, dance floors in different sizes, a new piano. Amazing. And I think that might be everything in the build by. Now, I don't even know where to start with this, but I think let's have a little look. So Pegasus Spencer is an adult horse, is a mare. So they've got a hunger rating, an energy rating, a fun, a social and a hygiene. We actually cannot click on Pegasus here, but we can monitor them by hovering over them. We can talk to Pegasus, scratch their neck, brush their coat. This is so exciting. Okay. Okay, we can encourage them to, okay, encourage them to breed and encourage them to socialize, talk to them, horse care, change their outfits, call to drink, clean their hooves, hand feed, but you do have to have things in their inventory. We can go for a ride on them. We can be mean to them, but we're not gonna be doing that. So Pegasus's new skill and temperament will begin to help her socialize with Sims and other horses. As the skill increases, socialization will become even more successful. Horses with high temperament are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs jobs and western pleasure show jumping and ultimate championships to track your progress select open profile on the relationship panel Ooh, okay so pegasus's value at the minute is one grand she hasn't won any competitions but this is what we've got here so her temperament her agility her jumping and her endurance a horse's temperament skill is built when a sim cares for and socializes with that horse skill can be acquired by sending a horse for training using the community board the agility is built by training with the barrels and the skill can be acquired by sending a horse for training okay so you can send a horse to training and that does it if you can't be bothered to do it yourself jumping i'm assuming with the little horse jumps and endurance is built by going for rides okay can we try and mount her let's see how this goes she's never mounted a horse before so heaven knows what is going to happen here oh okay so we can see that she's Having a bit of difficulty, but has got onto the horse. So prairie grass, can we encourage her to graze? So before I show you the prairie grass, there is a new lot challenge, which is wild prairie grass. Day after day, wild prairie grass will pop up and spread. Are the seeds of this hay yielding plant carried by the wind? Gnomes, both, nobody knows. So we have currently got that lot challenge on this particular lot. And your sims can get the horse to, you know, graze in it, or they can search the prairie grass and it is essentially like a, a loot crate so your horse can basically find things in the prairie grass they can just search and come up with different things or you they can feed off of it or your sim can harvest it and hand feed it to your horse so that can be done oh my lord okay so she just got flung off of the horse which is far from ideal we are feeling happy though from the burden of love the ranch life suits brooklyn even the chores she's happy as a horse but she's not happy now because we did get bucked off of the horse so perhaps we can you know tell jokes scratch its neck hug the horse ask for cooperation you know talk to try and get on a little bit better with the horse okay oh we're giving all the scratchies here she is hugging the horse. Oh, okay. Was the horse not so sure about that hug? Maybe because our relationship with the horse isn't quite there yet. Perhaps if we talk to Pegasus a little bit more. Okay, before we maybe go on a little walk with the horse, I just want to show you the kid mounting the horse because it is quite a cute interaction. So take a little look at this. So the horse comes down and the little kid climbs and hops on. Which is so cute. Obviously, it's not realistic, but it's a very cute interaction. Now, the welcome wagon in this world do not bring fruitcake. They bring panda campo, which is completely different. And then I think we're going to mount her and let's have a little look at some of the worlds. So she gets herself ready for riding, I believe. Oh, this is so cool. Look at people just riding around. Okay, so we are going to travel with Pegasus. Let's start off in Galloping Gulch. So let's head over to him. And so I believe Galloping Gulch is kind of Southern Utah, Arizona, Colorado inspired. There is like a whole river that goes through this world that you can kind of see here. We've got beautiful waterfalls. There's like natural stone arches as well. An absolutely stunning world. 
You've got different fishing holes here, loads to explore. You'll find these boards dotted around everywhere. You can call Animal Exchange to buy sheep and goats. You can find out information about like animal care, the equestrian center. There's community jobs, so you can train horses, do guided trails, give horse riding lessons, haul the neighbor's cargo, teach barrel racing, teach Western pleasure, goats grazing neighbor's field. Oh, so you need to have goats and you need to have sheep for a kid pa kid party. So community jobs, ways to en earn money. Enter competitions. You can hire a ranch hand, which I believe you can do on the phone as well, but you need to be on the lot that you own. So if your Sims are finding it difficult to manage the horses, manage all the animals, you can hire in a hand and they will help with like training the horses, feeding them, cleaning the manure cleaning where the horses live and just general care of the horse if things get a little bit too much for you there's horse training as well that they can go to learn about the residence plan an event lots to do through that and not only can you just have a wander around here but there are kind of like a whole mysterious vibe here where you'll find random horse graves dotted around this world like look there's a whole hecking cow plant here that god knows what has happened over there but a whole story to kind of uncover so here we go we've got brooklyn on pegasus trotting along as you can see neither of them are at a very good level yet her horse training isn't the best and the endurance of pegasus also isn't that good but the more you build up the better they will become with, you know, dealing with each other. So we're now feeling happy. We enjoy horse riding. She's in her element. The horse just <laughs> isn't feeling too good about this. But, you know, the more you ride, the better you become. So now while we're here, I think let's go ahead and explore the other neighborhoods. So I can kind of show you. All. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. You got to see the horse taking a taking a pee. <laughs> cool stuff. Let's head into the town of New Appaloosa. So we are here at the dance hall where your Sims can do a little bit of barn dancing. And we've had a notification saying, swing by the Hey Now Equestrian Center for the best training in our town and test your horsemanship in our competitions. Okay, cool. So this massive building here, of course, is the Equestrian Center. And here you can purchase horses, rescue ho horses, enter competition when you get your training up. You can do horse training training so maybe we can do this with pegasus here so let's get her endurance up okay so off pegasus goes <laughs> to work on her endurance and get that skill up is she just gonna go in the door oh look at this cowboy there we go off she goes and then this is the main town just look at how incredible this is it is absolutely stunning we've got a lot of like architectural statues here different art statues of horses which i believe is like common in big cities in america where you choose an animal get an artist to paint it over here is the general store where you can shop for groceries but you can also buy goats and mini sheep so different groceries so obviously horses like apples so why don't we get a few of them and we will also buy some little sheepies so you've got all kinds there you've got blue sheep but then your generic brown cream dalmatian sheep a little green goblin sheep a pink sheep Okay, let's get one pink sheep and let's get a white mini goat. Okay, so our purchases are in our inventory. You can in fact name your sheep and goats as well. And obviously this is where we can enter competitions and there's all sorts. So you can do barrel racing, endurance racing, show jumping, Western pleasure and the ultimate horse championship. The results of the competition obviously depend on your training skills, how generally happy your horse is and you kind of want to place. So obviously first, second and third. Um, and when you do that, you progress to the more difficult division. So a lot of dedication to the horse goes a long way and obviously each horse can compete once a day but if you're a rider and you've got multiple horses then you can compete multiple times a day so here we go doing a bit of barn country dancing look at eliza pancakes did you ever think you'd see her doing that 
She's having a royal fun time. And you've kind of got a hall here where if you're out and about with your horse, you can take them here and kind of look after them here, do a bit of training if you want to. It's also a nice place to just chill, perhaps with friends, with the local people, have a bit of a grill going on. And yeah, let's head back to our house, back to the world of Riders Glen, I think it's called. And let's have a little look into the goats and the sheep and also nectar making. Let's also put down our goat and <laughs> sheep. <laughs> look at them coming in and just bouncing around. How cute are they? Look at the little bounce. Okay, so this one is ready for shearing. So we can shear for 30 simoleons. We can socialize with them. And if you're mean to them, you can shear them, care for them, bottle feed, clean them. And then you can obviously milk the goats for simoleons as well. And the sheep and goats will help out in the garden. So if you've got... Oh, look at this. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm sorry. Look how precious. Look at the waggly tail. <laughs> oh, stop. That is so pure. But if... um, Obviously, we're not going to do that. But if you did perform mean interactions, then the goats will faint. And if you do be mean to them, then they probably will run away. They are similar to the chickens in Cottage Living, where they will run. And the sheep and goats, they're not tied to like a coop or a bed or anything. They will just roam around your farm. <laughs> Look at the jump. Oh my God. Look at this little jumpy little baby. Oh, hi. You're so precious. Now, I think, why don't we go ahead and get Brooklyn crafting some nectar? Now, we can do apple because we've got apples in our inventory, but there's all sorts you can do. So you can do grape, strawberry, potato, prairie grass, trash, energy, vitality, berry, fruit. And I do believe that there are some things related to other packs as well. Okay, so here we are stomping on our nectar. Our nectar making skills are null. Oh, so we're gonna have some falls because we do not have a clue what we're doing. Look, <laughs> the sheep just bouncing and prancing over like a little cutie. Oh, I love this. I also forgot that we can assign this bed. So we can assign this as Pegasus bed so that they know that that is where they sleep. But yeah, so we are stomping on the fruits and that is then gonna fill up this bottle of nectar. And this is where the nectar rack that I showed you a lot earlier is gonna come in handy because then we can just pop it into the rack. Oh my Lord, we are slipping and sliding all over the show here. Okay, there we go. So she is filling up her bottle and she's embarrassed because the product is bad. So the apple nectar has gone into her inventory and we can just drag that in and it will store it in here so she can drink from the bottle or she can pour different servings out and drink from that oh my god look at him doing his line dancing yeah. do the hole down throw down big zag cross the floor shuffle in diagonal when the drum hits hands on your hips one footed 180 twist and then a zigzag slap side step side <laughs> lean in left and clap three times shake it out head to toe throw it all together that's how we roam okay i thought as a snob he would have a interaction with her for drinking it out of the bottle but alas we are feeling happy um from drinking the nectar and she's feeling a touch inspired and obviously if you create like a vintage one if you let it age there are different things you can do with it i believe there is one that can bring sims back to life as well and there are a lot of different effects depending on which type of nectar you're drinking and if you drink too much then your sims can become dazed i am trying to see if <laughs> if she keeps drinking it if she does become dazed but it's yeah your sims will become dazed if you drink too much oh my god she's got the bottle in one hand and the glass in the other you go girl you go there we go so we're feeling dazed she's now passing out um the last drink of nectar was one too many brooklyn found her limit next she'll probably want to find her bed okay awesome that's cool there isn't a like job as per se with this pack but obviously you can sell your nectar for a lot. You can, I don't know where my goats are. You can make money from, oh, they're out here. My sheep and my goat. 
make money from shearing and milking the sheep and goats. Oh, lovely. Our first touch of manure. Now, a little fun tip with manure before we finish up. Oh my God, I just watched poo come out of Pegasus's bum. Lovely. That's one way to end this video. <laughs> But what I will say is, depending on how good you take care of your horses, apparently depends on the quality of the manure as well. So they can produce a different quality. And then that will determine how good the manure is as fertilizer for your plants. So that can help with like growing different things. So improve the manure by consistently meeting the needs of the horse. Manure from horses that are well cared for is worth more and provides stronger benefits. So there you go. Okay, we've got a sleepy horse here. Their hunger, energy, fun, social and hygiene is all good, which we love to see. Oh my gosh, look at little Pegasus playing with the ball. Look how cute. Wait, that is such a cute interaction. I love that. Okay, so each day what you want to do is refill the feeder. So you can either pay or you can refill it with prairie grass, which what I was saying to you lot is, you know, about this prairie grass growing around, we can go and harvest that. You want to make sure the animal is all well cared for and then you can muck out and clean their little bed too. Lots to do, lots of different ways to look after your horsey and lots of like just dedication and working with them. There we go, filling up their hay animal feeder. Oh my god, why do I keep zooming in as she's taking a dump? That's not a good way to show off the horses. Ooh, okay, so Brooklyn found spinach when she was searching the prairie grass. That's awesome. And now in her inventory, we've got some spinach and we've got some prairie grass. So we can fill that up without having to spend the 30 simoleons. From doing ranch chores, we're happy. Cleaning horse beds is hard, but Brooklyn's happy to do the work. And harvesting prairie grass is great. Okay, amazing. And I think we will finish this video here for today as I just wanted to show you lot all of the stuff as much as I can with what's coming in the new horse ranch pack. Let me know if you're excited for it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos about the new pack and just my Sims videos in general. And let me know if you wanna see a horse ranch series here on my YouTube channel too. Take care, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Taz out.